Special night. Tonight we focus our man show microscope on the institution of marriage, specifically the wedding. For the male of our species, a wedding can either be an unpleasant experience you'll be glad to be done with, or a nightmarish sleigh ride into, into the fiery pits of hell. One thing is for sure, the more painful it is for you, the more perfect it is for her. But. <laughs> don't make it painful intentionally, though. They do it because they have to. They're conditioned since birth. Every minute they've been on this planet has been in preparation for this one excruciating day. All we know is it's the only night of our lives when we're actually guaranteed sex. Other than that, we are completely uninvolved. Yes, completely uninvolved. The little groom on the cake was more involved in my wedding than me. Don't even let your girlfriend take you to a wedding. No. She only wants you there to test you, waiting for the moment someone comes up and asks, so, when are you two getting married? This is horrible etiquette. Why do people do this, Jimmy? Nobody comes up to you at a funeral and asks, so, when are you kicking off? But some jackal, please, hold your applause. Some jackal will ask, and when he does, she won't answer. She'll just look at you. And God help you if you answer wrong. <laughs> you come back with a, not in this lifetime, and you're finished. As soon as you get in that car, the hysterical sobbing begins. And the only way to stop it is to propose. No, really, I want to get married. No, stop, stop. I do, come on. We'll get married. Let's get married. <laughs> and she'll open her day planner and give you the date. Game, set, and match. And then the wedding machine starts, and once it gets going, brother, it goes. Find the hall, print the invitations, book the band. These invitations, you ever try to read these wedding invitations? I cannot figure them out. Got the parent's name at the top, it's an old English lettering. The date is written out in longhand. I get one in the mail, I stare at it for 20 minutes. Like a baboon looking at a thesaurus. Gerald... Francis Samuel the third. Who is this getting married? It's Gerald Samuels, that's one ball. That's Jerry One Ball. Oh! One ball is getting married. Why didn't they put that on the invitation? Yeah, you know what else is fun? Registering. My wife has $2.5 million worth of china in a cardboard box in our garage. The only time I ever see it is when we move. It never gets used. If the queen dropped by the house, she'd be eaten out of a Frisbee. And yet, I was not allowed to register for the cordless screwdriver. No, but they have to have it. They need the china, they need the ring, and they need the dress. You can really put the wedding day into perspective by the outfits. Uh, the bride goes out, spends $3,000 on a dress she's going to wear once. The groom rents a tux for 75 bucks. That is the whole thing right there in a nutshell. And, and she'll tell you, 3200 may seem like a lot for a dress, but don't worry, one day our daughter will wear it. Yeah? Why aren't you wearing your mom's dress then? You, you think she didn't feed that same load of crap to your poor old dad 30 years ago? <laughs> you want to see something pathetic? Take a look at this. Here. That's me. That's, right. That's 11 years and 265 pounds ago. One of more than 5,000 pictures we took that day. Weddings, they are not for us guys, but don't worry. Help is on the way. A little later, we're going to show you how to salvage your wedding, how to make it better. This is our wedding spectacular. And now, something for the future brides watching, a very special household hint from adult film stars.
Hi, I'm Stephanie Swift. You know me from such hits as Sweet Little Pervert and Buffalo Bunny. Here's a tip for all the brides out there. You've just had your big day. This is a good way to keep your dress looking fresh for many years to come. You'll want to wrap it in clean, unbleached muslin or acid-free white tissue paper. box and store it in a cool dry place like under the bed. There. Now you'll have a keepsake to hand down for generations. And remember guys, for any wedding night questions, just refer to my new video. I do. Everybody. I can't get my wife into a twosome, please. Welcome back to the Man Show Wedding Spectacular. Yeah, we know, you say you'll never do it, you swear the day will never come, but one day you are gonna get married. There is a woman out there who's going to get her hooks into you, and when she does, she'll want a wedding. And weddings blow. But they don't have to. I'd like you to meet Ann and Josh. Today is their big day. She wants everything to turn out just right. She's ordered the flowers, picked out the dress, all very nice, all very elegant. But what about this poor bastard? Shouldn't he have some enjoyment too? Of course he should. And with a few simple compromises, you too can have a better wedding. Do you, Josh, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love, honor, and respect all the days of your life? I do. Now, come on, hang on just a minute there, television priest. Let's talk about these vows for a second. All this love, honor, and respect business, who is that for? That's so she can watch you humiliate yourself in front of your friends. Remember, guys, he may be a man of the cloth, but he's still a man. It's okay to ask for a little help. Do you, Anne, promise to love him at least three times a week? <laughs> Honor his credit card limits and, and respect his football viewing time all the days of your life? I do. Now that's more like it. Yeah. Now, the ring. First things first, if anybody watching knows who came up with this two month salary is a good roll of thumb to pay for the ring, give him a kick in the nuts for us. Yeah. Here's the real rule of thumb. Spend as much money as you're comfortable stuffing into a shopping bag, lighting on fire, and throwing out of the window of your car. If I'm spending five grand on a ring, it better be a Super Bowl ring. It better be Joe Namath's Super Bowl ring, and his finger better still be in it. But if you must, again, compromise. Yes, darling, I will buy you the ring you want. But here's the one I want, the flesh-colored wedding ring. She's happy because you're wearing a ring. You're happy because you can still pick up chicks, right? <laughs> or you go the other way with the giant-sized wedding band. Tells the world, hey, look at me. I'm an idiot. I slaughtered my freedom. Not just a piece of jewelry, a sure-to-be-appreciated warning to all bachelors everywhere. Give that to him, why don't you? Yeah. And if any man has reason that this union should not take place, speak now or forever hold your peace. I got a reason. <laughs> the bride's a man. She's a man. She's got a wiener. Oh, Look at that little guy. That is the ventriloquist's objection dummy. No groom alive has the balls to object to his own wedding unless he's throwing his voice. 
The bride has big fuzzy testes. Big fuzzy testes. Big fuzzy testes. A great way to get out late in the game. I now pronounce you man and wife. Oh, I hate to see that happen. But what if you do go through with it? Fine, you want to settle down. Wouldn't you be happier, though, with a virgin? It may be the 21st century, but if you had a choice, wouldn't you prefer a traditional bride, one who'd never experienced the pulsing rhythm of naked man buttocks? And ladies, wouldn't it be great if he thought you'd waited all this time for his sorry ass? Well, now he will with the Hyman Repair Kit. It's a nice item. A simple patch and some crazy glue, it'll be like prom night all over again. There you go, sweetness. Also useful for uncircumcisions in patching vinyl car tops. And, and, and look at my daughter. She's so beautiful. How did she wind up with this moron? Ah, the mother-in-law. You're never quite good enough for her baby, are you? And, and he's lazy. How can a lazy person support my grandchildren? Here's where you kill two birds with one stone. You have to hire an organist, right? Why not make it the fox? <laughs> the bride mom's a fat tub of ugly with a face like a big hairy beast. And even nobody asked me, I'd rather have sex with the priest. <laughs> That bouquet was a rental, honey. <laughs> Let your new mom know right off the bat exactly where she stands. Thanks, Fox. And finally, the cake. I suppose it's a thrill for Grandma to watch the happy couple to cut this thing, but believe me, everyone else is bored out of their skull. Unless you have one of these beauties. Made especially for the man show, an exploding wedding cake. <laughs> cake flying fun for your guests. Go ahead and cut that thing, will you? Oh, how beautiful. And one last diversion for the groom to get the hell out. Run! Run! Run like the wind, boy! Oh, we saved another one. My Juggy Brides, dance! Who doesn't love a wedding? I don't. Me neither. <laughs> All right, but for the most part, guys don't know what they're getting into when they get married. For instance, did you know that after you walk down the aisle, you're supposed to stop having sex with strange women? It's one of the worst parts about it. Recently, though, I traveled to the wedding capital of the world to talk to some guys who were about to take the plunge and find out exactly what was going through their heads. Jimmy Kimmel reporting from Las Vegas, Nevada in the Little White Chapel, where many, many people have been married, including Joan Collins and Michael Jordan, who I didn't even know were a couple, but... <laughs> gonna argue with the billboard? Marriage. Why do men do it? I'm married, and I don't know why men do it. So today, we're gonna talk to some grooms and find out why exactly they're tying the knot. I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you, John, may kiss your bride. <laughs> well, congratulations. What are your names? Jonathan and Sarah. And you've been married in a cab. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this what you've always dreamed, Sarah? 
Yes. Yeah. Is the meter running during this marriage? You got it. The meter's going. Is the cabbie your best man? What better way? I notice the glasses are a little steamed up. Are you yeah. getting a little teary eyed I'm there? I'm pretty excited. Are you a football fan? No. Nope. No? No, are you a fan of sports in general? No. Nope. Well, that's good because you won't be watching anymore on TV. <laughs> well, James, you're getting your corsage on and you're about to get married. Have you broke the news to your penis yet? <laughs> Have you had a talk with it? A couple times. I got some bad news for you, bunny. You're not going to be as busy as you once were. <laughs> Why now do you decide to get married? Well, it's just... Did she decide? She well, we both, decided, both decided. Whose idea was it to get married? Uh, actually, it was a combined combination. Yeah, of sure. Is this her idea? <laughs> yeah, it was basically mostly her well, idea. Mostly her. I thought about it, but I never brought it up. Whose idea was it mostly, if you had to give a percentage? If I had to? Yeah. I mean, the, the old lady. Yeah. Who you decided know, more? Who made? Who was on the more deciding end? She did. She, she gave me an alternative. She basically. did. What was the uh, alternative? <laughs> Marry me did? now or she's, I'm going to leave. Yeah, that's not much of an alternative. So, so you're here just kind of, uh, you're being forced to marry this woman, right? <laughs> you can put it like that. <laughs> How'd she bring it up? What'd she say to you? She to tell me, she told me, uh, Either marry me or I'm gone. Have you farted in front of her yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, you have? When did you start the farting? How early in the relationship? After the first six months. Now, have you done that thing where you fart and then hold her under the covers? Oh, yeah. Have you done that? no problem with that? Okay. Well, sounds like she's married material to me, then. Again, let's recap here. He gets control of the remote. There you go. And you promise to have sex at least ten times a month. Whoa. Okay. So help you God. Yeah. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> may they rest in peace. Fox, you're the drunken James Bond. How about taking us in a commercial? <laughs> oh. How we danced on the night we were wed We danced and we danced Cause there wasn't any bed I need a wife like a questions about marriage and the wedding so we're going to try to shed some light on some of those jimmy yeah let's answer some uh this is from colin irving uh why do women crash diet before their wedding now, this is a horrible plan because they're, they're skinny for 10 minutes and fat for the rest of the wedding rest of the marriage yeah absolutely they, they immediately balloon back up to their fighting weight <laughs> and then people come over the house and they're confused by the waif models picture it's on the mantelpiece yeah. with the sumo wrestler in the kitchen. Right. <laughs> you really should pack it on before the wedding. Then people yeah. could go, oh, you've really, you've, you look great. You've lost a lot of a poundage there. Our next question is from Ralph Susana. And Ralph says, uh, I really do not want anything to do with the planning process of my wedding. How can I get out of it? <laughs> Tell her you want a football theme. <laughs> Believe me. Or Planet of the Apes theme. <laughs> we'll be right off that detail. Uh, next question is from Ben. Is it wrong to have a hooker at the bachelor party? <laughs> I thought that was his last name. No, no, no. 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 Ben. Of course it's not wrong to have a hooker at the bachelor party. In fact, it is the responsibility of the best man to make sure the groom gets hooked at the bachelor party. You know? <laughs> That's right. Like a, a bachelor party. Like a big walleye. <laughs> You're not there for ice cream and cake. No. All right. That's all the time we have for the program. 
Uh, we have the Fox here, so why not make him drink a couple of beers? Fox, why don't you do that? We'll say goodbye to the Juggies, who I'm taking to Utah and making my uh, harem bride after the program. Fox, give us a little Ziggy Socket to close the show. Ziggy Socket, Ziggy Socket, hard, hard, hard. Ziggy Socket, Ziggy Socket, hard, hard, hard. Ziggy Socket, Ziggy Socket, hard, hard. Stone Stanley Production in association with 